Guyver Hofstadt's cynical plot to see the UK suffer when cutting ties with the European Union has been exposed. Sherman and Sterling partner, Barney Reynolds, claimed there are individuals within the EU that wish to see the UK suffer after cutting ties with the bloc. During an interview with Express Co UK, the experts from the top legal firm claimed that the Belgium MEP, Guy Verhofstadt, has become irrelevant despite initially hoping to see the UK worse off after Brexit trade talks. Mr Reynolds said, sadly, some in the EU want to see a detriment to the UK economically from leaving the EU, which I have mentioned is unnecessary. Mr Reynolds clarified that he did not believe it was member states that wanted to see the UK fail but rather individuals within the European Union. Mr Reynolds continued, I don't think it is any particular nation that has that view but I think it is individuals and groups of people. Whether they genuinely have these views or it is just a posture at the moment I don't know. Some of the people that had this view about the UK have disappeared off the scene. People like Guy Verhofstadt. It is a cynical and rather unpleasant viewpoint, especially from a partner that has traded on very close terms for decades. But there are still people who say that. Mr Reynolds questioned whether these individuals in the EU would risk future harm to their own citizens by maintaining this stance in the Brexit trade talks. He said, would those same people cause harm to EU citizens and businesses as a whole to make a point and teach the UK a lesson I don't know. I suspect there are individuals who would be prepared to do that. The question is would the democratic machinery in the various states tolerate an approach from particular individuals that is clearly contrary to the EU's well-being and interests. That is a big question and if you look at the EU's situation with the Eurozone and COVID-19 there is a massive economic issue facing the EU both the EU and Britain have admitted the current Brexit trade talks are proving unsuccessful as the stalemate continues. Mr Reynolds insisted the EU has been asking too much from the UK government in the discussions. He also added they may have gained this confidence to ask for too much from dealing with Theresa May and her Brexit negotiating team.